All right, so we've got our AutoCAD lines into Revit, and we've got them positioned in the X, Y, and Z. And the next thing I want to do is go ahead and make the topography, all right, which is actually probably the most simple thing. I would equate a lot of stuff with Revit to painting. It's all in the prep, and then things should hopefully go smoothly. So let's go ahead and go to a 3D view. I'm going to go to my default 3D view up here on the Quick Select toolbar. And... If we zoom around, that's what we've got. So we want to go ahead and make some topography, uh, 3D topography out of these lines. So if I go to my massing in sight, there is a topo surface right here. So if I left click on topo surface, you get many options. Um, initially, it wants to just place a point on this surface and sort of start creating a topo based on points. But under the Tools panel, you can come to the pull-down and go to Create from Import. And I'm going to select Import Instance. And I'm going to left-click here on the link. And it's going to give me all my layers. And I only want the layers that have the topographical information on them. Okay, so I'm going to remove all those other layers and click OK. It's going to think for a minute. And it's going to create a series of points along those AutoCAD lines as it interprets that information. Now one thing I could have probably done is gotten rid of some of the lines right here in this vertical area because you really don't need that many points. Um, we may take a look at that in the next installment. See it's moving a little slowly. Now we're in what's called a sort of edit mode or sketch mode. You can see I have this green contextual tab for the topography. I could move these topography points around. So for example, if I hover over a point and left click on it, it's going to give me the height of that point. And I could move it or I could create additional points. We don't really want to do that. I'm just going to hit the big green check. And this is going to get us out of the sketch mode and back into our Revit project mode. And now you see, if I spin around, I have a 3D topography there. Now. Um, I'm just going to go into my Insert tab and my Manage Links, and I'm going to unload that AutoCAD drawing because right now I don't really need it. So now you can see that a little bit more cleanly. Right, and if I go to a Shaded Mode, it will turn that lovely dirt brown that comes in with um, with Revit's default um, Earth material. All right, so let's take a look at a couple of the qualities of this. I'm going to go back to my wireframe mode. If I go to Massing in Sight, down here on the bottom right of this Model Site tab is the settings. So if you left click on those settings, you're going to get several options that are very useful for topography. Here's where it's doing the major and minor um, topography lines, so contour line display at intervals of 10 feet, passing through elevation 00, zero. starts at 00, zero, stops at 1,000 feet, um, and increments of 1 foot. So I could come in here and change this to 2 feet and hit apply, right, and now my contours are at less um, intervals, 2 foot intervals instead of 1 foot. Here also is the material that is placed on that topography. So if you click on this dot dot dot, it's going to open up your materials dialog box here. And it's going to allow you, right here's the cut pattern of that, so it's set to that earth pattern that we all love so much. Um, we could change that from earth, left click on there and scroll down and you can change that to solid fill. And you can change it from black to, let's make it a light gray. All right, so we've changed that. You could also, you know, assign grass or sand. Um, right now, the only thing I'm going to go over is the graphics tab here, which represents um, how whatever has this material assigned to it looks in the viewport. So shading, if you use shading, um, it's set to that brown color. 
we could use render appearance. I don't think it's really going to change that much. Um, or we could have it shade a different color. So we'll shade it a dark gray just to show you. Um, topography won't take surface patterns, so you can't change that. But that would be an elevational pattern like a tile or a um, siding. So I'm just going to click OK there. And it's going to update site the material site earth, which is applied to that. Here's the elevation poche base. So when you section this, it will only show negative 10 foot of topography. So I'm going to change that to negative 40 feet. And you can change the uh, display of units if you'd like. I'm going to click OK. Now let's go ahead and shade it and see if it updated the shading. You can see it's now gray instead of brown. Now I'm going to go to my site plan here, double click on my site view. Or actually, let's go to level one view. Well, the topography is actually turned off in the level one view. So let's go back to the site. And I'm just going to take a section through this. So I'm going to go to my view, section, and we'll just take a sort of short section right through here. Okay. And if I double click on that, you're going to see, whoops, accidentally turned that on. Let's turn the cropping off. You're going to see there's the topography, but it's only cutting 40 feet below, right? So if I were to go back to massing in sight, change this to what is the default negative 10 feet whoops negative 10 feet apply you can see it shortens that up all right so those are the few introductory things about site we'll take a look at uh, or site and topography we'll take a look at some of the other commands in the next installment